Hey guys, this is Roger Lee with the PLC Tech out troubleshooting a project. Uh, float switch not reading. Alarm staying true. Sorry about the traffic, but uh, here's what it is. Um, what we found was the float switch had gotten submerged in the water up to where the connectors are. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, it's also wired normally closed. So that's the reason why the alarm was staying true continuously. Uh, because once we got here and pulled the float switch to check if the float was good or bad, the wires where it was wire nutted together coming from the PLC had actually corroded on one of the leads causing the wire to be open circuit. Given the illusion that we had a uh, high level alarm, which was not true, it just corroded and broke. And I will uh, pause it, turn around, and show you what that looks like on these connectors. This is the connectors. These are the wire ends after stripping them back and checking them. Regretfully, even after disconnecting the wires, stripping them back and checking the float. The float had water that had seeped back into the cable itself and uh, caused the float to fail as well. But it'd be hard to tell the way the shadows are, but uh, these connectors actually have pieces of wire all corroded up inside of them. Hey guys, this is the float switch we was talking about. Currently the water level is down to what would be acceptable for the float to not be in alarm condition. But this is the junction box that those wires were submerged in. In uh, try to zoom in here just a little bit. Right now we turned the other wires that probably had some corrosion upwards so that at least they don't hold water while they're uh, submerged and drains back out. Uh, you can see this, when we opened this box, this whole lower portion here was still holding water and that the water level had gotten as high as here, but that part drained back out. Uh, part of the issue is this box was quite sealed, obviously it was still holding water, but on the other side here, if we follow this conduit, you'll see where this box is no longer sealed. So this is where the water penetrated and all the way around and got into this box. All right, this is the uh, panel view that we talked about the float switch that wasn't working. Just wanted to show you, that's the float alarm we were talking about. I'll show you the inside. This is the inside of the panel. Uh, again, we talked about the Allen Bradley a little bit. This is the panel view. This is the Micrologix 1100 PLC. Little Moxa switch. Our tonal blocks, circuit breakers, and if you notice, we have a fuse raised right here to disconnect our float switch condition, which would normally be able to test it along with that. But that's where we pulled the power so we could test it without getting shocked. So, uh that's all we got guys and we will talk more about how to troubleshoot a bad float switch with a multimeter later.